All right, folks, we are back. It's time. It's time for the Guardian Legend. I'm gonna be the Guardian Legend any percent. Uh, it's gonna be pretty hype. We got a little hype train going in here with those gift subs and those beds. Thank you so much again. All the support has been great. Everyone here at RGL really appreciates it. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get started in just a sec. Go spoil on the music. No, I I gotta play the music. Come on. <laughs> okay. So, without further ado, let's just dive right into this game. All right, we're gonna start in three, two, one, go. So this is the Guardian Legend. For those unfamiliar, it is half vertical scrolling shmup and half world exploration, like open, sort of open world-ish, kind of akin to, oh man, I'm out of, I'm way out of position for some of these guys, kind of akin to, you know, um, Legend of Zelda and things of that ilk. Lots of stuff to find. Did not get that drop. That's okay. Yo, Miz, thank you so much for those five gift subs, man. Really appreciate that. So we're here. of the planet. Working our way in. Pretty low on health here, but there should be a heart drop coming shortly. Oh, there it is, and I can't get it, can I? Oh, good. It pops forward. Thank goodness. Have to play is pretty safe, because it took a lot of silly hits at the beginning. I'm going to see some, some juking. See when speedrunners, like higher higher level, higher caliber speedrunners of this game, do that fight. They are really gung ho about. Um, there's a concept called body checking, where if you're like rubbing shoulders with enemies, you can get them. To, you can do even more damage. And we'll do plenty of body checking as the run goes on. First thing we picked up was rapid fire so that I don't have to mash anymore. Because thank goodness I suck at mashing. <laughs> and we're on our way to corridor one. We have a lander there. Blue lander to increase our health. So the neat thing is, there are all these cutscenes as you switch from corridor to fight, or from corridor entry to fight. Uh, if you're holding select when that cutscene comes up, you just skip it. So there's a lot of li little bits of tiny bits of extra menuing. The same goes for after a boss fight as well. You'll notice that I'm not like just outright killing certain things like straight away. It's because a lot of the any percent route is kind of predicated on well not a lot of it, but like a helpful tool that you can try to shoot for. It's something called score routing, where every time you level up, and the level ups are at determined point values, um, you get all your health back. I believe your max health goes up by one. So, it's very useful. 
if you can manage to time any of those level ups uh, at critical moments, like during a really hard boss fight, for instance. So what I'm doing here, all I'm doing here is just farming points as best I can. may seem innocuous enough, like these kills aren't generating a ton of points, extra projectiles that enemies are throwing out aren't generating a ton of points, but it does all add up. pretty much where I want to be. 72,000 is kind of where I'm looking for. We're going to say hi to Felipe. I'll try to be careful. A little bit careful here. Again, you can do body checking, but I don't really need to there. I do that little menuing so that I'm holding select to skip that scene. And we're done with Corridor 1. We're gonna travel. Now it's time for us to collect a few things. We gotta get the cutter. We gotta get the fireball. generally make ourselves a bit stronger. I don't want that, though. Ow. That hurts. <laughs> Let's go pick up the cutter first. That's fine. It's all fine. So we're gonna fight a little crab mini-boss here. Pick up the fireball. Corridor 11, because this is any percent. We won't be seeing the extra corridors. Bad menu, that's fine. <laughs> so we're gonna fight a little robot here. He can body check him really hard. So we didn't want that. We didn't want him to body check us. But now that we got what we wanted out of him, we can die. Because death warping. It's also a thing here. Take us back to our last save location, now that we got everything that we wanted out of that area, and now we are on to area two. You're right, blue guy. It is no use. Alright. 
fight another crab here. thing we want to get here before we go into corridor two. One more power up. Actually I think these are landers up here. I think we got everything that we wanted. But now we want we want to be a bit beefier and have more chip. This chip is our ammo. 200 chip. Grab that blue lander to increase our maximum health. And in we go. Gotta touch those four. Every corridor has a trick to open it. The first one I had to use the saber and the gun on the door. Why I got in there and I just started spamming. Yeah, I'm trying to get farm some score here. Can, can intentionally get hit by certain uh, enemy projectiles in order to get the points that they generate. For me, like, I'm still working on score collection the way that it's going to suit me in the long run. Uh, a lot of this is predicated, as a Shiner CCC mentioned in chat at one point earlier on, that uh, a lot of the score routing is predicated on trying to get to 100,000 points at a, at a specific moment and then 500,000 points at a specific moment. In my case, like I'm the the 500 is a nice to have, but at some point I feel like I'm going to have to get the routing adjusted slightly for, for me because I really want to get a million points during the final boss fight. I, would re I really want to be able to get that level up, but I'm not good enough at, sec at corridors 9 and 10 to do anything more than try to stay alive. <laughs> and the score routing really does want you to try to like beef up your score count during during corridors 9 and 10 but I'm much more concerned with not dying hey Schmitty just above the eyes there we go so much for the good luck. I apologize that I haven't been reading all of chat. It's really just whenever I get that that one free moment that I can look. Take another death here. Down with area two. It's time to go to area three. Not dying has its merits for sure. <laughs> Also, I know folks have been talking about it, but I haven't necessarily called it out on my own. But the music in this game is just so good. Now I'm at 10. 
at least that was a better choice. <laughs> it's a risk that I just run into a bad enemy pattern. My gosh. Flowers are brutal mini bosses. You know, they just kind of fling themselves about without a care. We're gonna head over to Corridor 3. The Run Killer. So like I said, every corridor has a little theme to get the door to open. This one, you have to stand here for 20 seconds. I think technically it's 21 seconds, but I think the intention was for you to stand here for 20 seconds. <laughs> okay. Now, this is the run-killing corridor for speedruns. Because of the boss. Everybody loves the boss of this level. I don't know a single person who doesn't. It's Optimum. This is how everyone will know him when you see him. <laughs> that is for sure. I'm going to get up a little bit higher here because we're going to get some pomegranates on the ground that you don't want to burst. So you want to spam them with a bunch of shots before they have a chance to burst. Means we gotta be up high. There we go. Full chip. We got full health unless I get us a rogue bullet from the left there. But even with full health, seaweed that Optimon generates can essentially, I believe it's like it can four shot me. Like, it takes three hits to get down to no health. And you can shoot fast seaweed or slow seaweed. There's really no rhyme or reason to it. Sometimes you get a duck to the corner like I did just then <laughs> to try to avoid getting slammed. Sometimes you get a bit too brave taking one straight to the face. Nice. I'll take it. Absolutely. <laughs> okay, we'll get the regenerator. Which is, you know, kind of funny, because you have to take the regenerator, but for speedrun purposes, we are going to take another death, so... So now we gotta go to the other side. Walk here over to sector four or area four. I'm not sure what the specific name is. Also, this is a good tune, but we don't get to hear it. <laughs> ah. 
Okay. <laughs> I have to commit to, like, walking straight through certain block sections. So, like, if I try to cut corners diagonally, it's so easy for me to just miss stuff and then just body damage. <laughs> Lots of damage. Stay away. <laughs> Although, at this point, I think... to sector 14 and then buy to sector 14 and we'll pick up a cutter upgrade and we're gonna go into this shop this seemingly innocuous shop right next to corridor 4 Two, three, four. There we go. And he's like, hey, are you having trouble with Corridor 4? Want me to open that for you? I'm like, yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> so yeah, you gotta go in and out of that shop four times. Like, the fourth time you enter the shop, the guy's like... Oh, you want to go in the corridor? Oh, okay. Sure, I can do that. Lots of trash, lots of trash. I think generally you feel pretty good about this corridor. At least I do. I feel like you got a handle on the volume of trash that you're dealing with. Even with the occasional pomegranate built in. Kill some satellites, because they're worth points. I'm gonna miss that health, which didn't matter because I was at full. I would have liked to have had it now. That's okay. I'm still at full health anyway. I'm not going to go for super aggressive strats on the dragon. You can do a lot of body checking to make this a three cycle. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to make this a nice safe four cycle. <laughs> As it gives me a regenerator. Uh, you're a funny game. This game's funny. Alright. Little menu to skip the cutscene. There's a good reason to be playing it kind of safe. We are going to fight a flower over here. So the more health you have, the merrier. You can just get a bad pattern and again, just get bodied randomly. This one seems to be behaving though. So get that gun upgrade. And then we'll come over here and we'll die. body checking and how I haven't been doing a lot of it but we'll do some of it right here to get a blue lander and it's because we're getting a blue lander oh he's not gonna let me body check him is he there we go okay <laughs> it's like of course you spawn on the wall you jerk that's okay it all worked out you just kind of stand in his hitbox while you're swinging at him don't run into the blue guy you can run into him <laughs> More chill tunes. Hey, stop interrupting my chill tunes. 
remarkably, I didn't take any damage. So I, I would consider this blue lander to be optional. Maybe you could go, just go straight up for speed, but I'm going for safety here. Even though I now have less health than I did, but I have more maximum health than I did. <laughs> and that's the key. Now we have to fight the crystal. Crystal is a beast. Oh god. It's not working out. We're gonna die. Yeah. That's okay. We just have to do that section again. I gotta get him into the wall. Which I failed to do. That's okay. A little time loss. Oh, we'll get some shields, Neocad. We'll just get there a little bit later on. We don't want to go too far out of our way to get them. We want to kind of just get them on the path. And take damage there, too. Cool. <laughs> right, since I died... I don't know if I have credit for that blue lander now. Which is pretty funny if I'm now going to ignore it. <laughs> it's all good. This is a better spawn. There we go. There we go. See? Firth try. <laughs> For that one, the trick is you literally have to use a special weapon on the word corridor. <laughs> yes. Like one, like it's like a one. Th for the first time. Don't worry, we'll see plenty more. Here's the squid. You just want to line up directly with him up and down. He's a pain in the ass to keep control of when he's moving side to side. Erasers for the first time, which will come in handy. We'll take another death. Like you do. But it's faster. And we'll walk in the block. <laughs> Just randomly. Because it's fun. We're gonna work our way over to Area 6. So for area six, or for corridor six, or first we're gonna go right past it because I want more shield. Give me more shield.
Also, if you can get to the door fast enough before that, uh, that whole fanfare goes off, uh, then you can... Oops. Then you can skip the fanfare, or, like, you can, you can leave during the fanfare, essentially. Okay, this stage is the volcano stage. The game will spend all of its energy trying to compel you to leave the top of the screen and then dump a whole bunch of volcanoes on it <laughs> to lag you out. And not just lag you out, but like all those little green guys are just nasty. You should go and out of your way to kill these satellites. Look out for those volcanoes. <laughs> on uh, Corridor 5, I would go out of my way to group these, uh, those guys together, and now I really can't be bothered, because I can't, I can't leave, uh, all the volcanoes alone. select for this whole fight because that select glitch that lets us get out I can just uh, since that was my menu I can just do it here and just not let go Sin thank you so much for that raid still dodge it <laughs> for fear of buying the wrong thing. Yeah, I gotta do a little bit of body checking on, uh, on that boss. Go straight down. I will on the way back, Synth Pop. But right now, I don't have enough chip. I need 600, and my max is still 4, I believe. Now. <laughs> That's okay, we're about to get some speed boosts. Can't get the early exit. They can't even do the fight cleanly without taking damage. Now we're really rocking and rolling. This might feel cookie cutter, but it's okay. Because for this corridor, instead of going in and out of the adjacent shop four times, you just have to go in and out of the corridor four times. get introduced to laser ships. They seem innocent enough. Little guys that just come straight down, that guy right there. However, the lasers that they fire are deadly. You 
are not ready for the amount of damage that they can do. So if you get out of cycle here, you just kind of want to bail and stick to the side for a little bit. As it is, my health is really low. <laughs> so, in the shmup sections. And probably, I don't know if this is how, how much this applies to the other sections, but in the shmup sec sections, when you, your health gets down to zero, like completely zero, um, you... So yeah, when you get down to zero health, uh, what ends up happening is your hitbox shrinks. Your hitbox shrinks down to like a single pixel, <laughs> roughly, right in the center. Um, so it's easier for you to dodge stuff, but that also means it's easier for you to dodge items too. Like, you can't pick stuff up either. You have to, like, pick the pixel perfect practically to get the item. So, wall clip to get some enemy erasers. Because this is a marathon. We're doing safeties. I am not proud. Now we're going on the Great Red Lander collection. spawn this time on a crab. Let's see what it gives us. That's good. It's real good. There we go. See that time we got out before the fanfare started. Say hi to Corridor 16 one last time. Now, we'll buy that later and almost clip into the wall for no reason. So a quick safety save, because this is a marathon. We're headed to a couple of bad spots here, so we're just going to pop in here and move our save point, since we've already traveled many screens on our way from 7 to 8. Shoutouts to Sinstream for all of his help getting me ready for this event. <laughs> helping me figure out little safety strat, like just think, uh, passing on his knowledge of good safety strats to make sure that I give myself the best chance. <laughs> Alright, so this flower is named Sir Red. Sir Red the Run Killer may be his full title, I'm not sure. But just watch him body check the heck out of me here. Watch my health. I don't have all the shields that I have, that that strat does not work. <laughs> okay, so um, epilepsy warning, this is important, okay? We're gonna go into corridor eight here, and I have the item called enemy erasers equipped. It makes the screen flash. He's called Sir Red the Death Pinwheel. I'm going to be using enemy erasers a lot during this, so... If you have issues with epilepsy, I'm going to recommend that you look away for this corridor. I will let you know when it's okay again. to execute a safety strat than to abuse it horribly by burning through enemy erasers. <laughs> like, 
like I picked up extras. That means I can just use them, right? <laughs> Carefree. Okay. So you can look now. And say hi to Grim Grin. With his five eyes. So we are going to get the 500k level up here. So I don't have to worry. <laughs> of course, I get the generator there. Yep, and there's a level up. Right after I refill my helmet. That's okay. We are just going to cut Grim Grin down through all four phases. The last one is the most fun when the eye opens up and all the eyeballs start spilling out. And yeah, like I, I'm exchanging some lag for some safety. <laughs> a little bit. Just just a, just a little. Because <laughs> Grimgrin is a fight that can get away from you really fast. Do a little chip refill. <laughs> a little chip glitch. You're like catty corner to a chip. Yo. Gonna pick up an extra blue lander here, because again, safety strats. It's all about just increasing my maximum HP. A scary red lander coming up right here. Oh, that is a great spawn. That one, not so much. Okay. <clears throat> Keep the cutter out for corridor nine. This song gets stuck in my head a lot. <laughs> Very whistleable. So, welcome to corridors nine and ten. Where everything hits like a goddamn truck. <laughs> like for real, these. <laughs> ten is worse than nine. But nine is no slouch if you give it if you give it room. warning. We need to flash these pomegranates away. Again. It's tough because I'm also trying to commentate the run, trying to remember when to say that stuff, so I apologize. Lord, I apologize. something where 
Like, a lot of the stuff that this guy does deals a lot of damage. Oddly enough, one of the things that doesn't deal a ton of damage at this shield level is those laser beams. So we're just, like, riding the laser beam. <laughs> Literally just riding it. Take a death here. And head over to Corridor 10. doesn't work <laughs> sometimes you just kind of on it the wrong way all right again some more enemy eraser action here so we want to get I want to get some more points. Best way to do that. Another wall clip, by the way. <laughs> no big deal. Yo, thanks for those bits again. Really do appreciate it. We here at RGL really appreciate all the support you all are giving us. We love putting on events like this. dodge those. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty big waste of time <laughs> trying to dodge them. <laughs> okay, corridor 10. Open, oh, I didn't say what open corridor 9. Standing on the door opens corridor 9. Corridor 10, you have to shoot for 10 seconds. Or I think it's 11 seconds, so. Okay. This one is the one that scares me. I'm probably not going to talk much during this. <laughs> this corridor does scare me. It's gonna get really fast. I need to make sure that I can get those drops. over there for no good reason. about it now. We're okay. Kind of. Guy take two. No. 
no, I missed the drop. Apologies for that. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're, we're out. <laughs> <clears throat> so <sighs> all right okay we're through and on to the final corridor if i remember where to go <laughs> Yes, there's another awesome track. Here it is. It's Corridor 21, folks. We've undone all ten locks protecting the planet from the self-destruct sequence. So now it's time for the final boss rush. never use that weapon. <laughs> okay. Clench time. Oh, yeah, and there's another Grim Grin. I needed to be chasing down all the chips. The <laughs> chip drops. That's okay. Final boss of the boss rush. fight. <clears throat> Realistically, this is just a game of avoid the bubbles. Because it is going to fire homing rockets and bubbles. And the bubbles hurt like hell. <laughs> See, yeah, you just you want to keep keep the cutter on him. 
but just watch out for the bubbles. Like that one. Sometimes just get cornered. Sometimes. Sometimes you just run into them. That also happens. Yeah, baby, let's go. Sorry, because I had to use the, um, because I had to use, uh, the enemy erasers. Um, at the very end there, I know that that's an issue with my capture card, that it makes the, it makes it drop out right there. I, ideally, I just want to have a good fight and then that won't happen. Oh yeah, um, I just PB'd by a minute. <laughs> like over a minute. Oh no, not over a minute, by less than, it was like right, roughly a minute. And yes, um, Sin, Sin mentioned score route that level up at a million points is literally why I'm farming everything the entire run. Like, I'm just trying to build up my score to get to that million points right there. Whew. Oh, man. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, four runs under estimate. Four for four. I'll take that. Alright, um, so again, thank you all so much for hanging out with me during the yells block. Um, and just stay tuned because we have, again, it is Wedness Day. Nothing but Ness. All day long. It's gonna be great. You're, you're not gonna want to sleep. <laughs> I don't want to sleep. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah stick around it's it's gonna be super hype thank you all so much there was a little hype train during the block which was amazing so thank you all so much for that again rgl really appreciates the support um you know, we're just you know we just like to put on these really cool shows there's so much more to come we're we're not even at the midway point yet <sighs> so just yeah hang tight we got more runs coming <laughs> <laughs> 